Hey guys, this is Greg Beast. We're doing a remote Beast Lab. I'm here with Jerry Raganese, and we're gonna we're at New York Strong here in Mamaroneck, New York. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over just so you guys understand the differences in gameplay between the new PLL rules and the MLL NCA high school rules for the faceoff. Okay, so if we go by the college rules first, the referee points down with his foot. The players line up top to stop, not square. Top to stop means the top of your head lines up to the ball stop of your opponent. Everything's off the plastic and off the line. After the ref adjusts it, and you have an unlimited amount of time on the adjustment. So the ref can stay, sit here all day and adjust. There's no penalty for that. He'll put the ball down in the middle. He'll eye it up put his hand over top of the sticks and say set, then he'll back out and blow the whistle, okay? If you fall start, um, in college, if you fall start three times in the same half, then you get a delay of game penalty, and um, you know, then you get a 30 second man down, all right? So that's the college rules. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the new PLL rules and how they Now the PLL rules will be different. The ball will be down already. From this line to this line is six inches. Your head, when the referee says down, has to line up to but not over the line. Very easy, very simple. Now, what you'll notice right away is that the ball will be higher on the sticks. The idea behind that is to make sure that there's less lockups. Now, the technique won't change, just the distance in which you need to get the ball to the throat. The ball being down first is because there will be a marker on the field so that the referee knows where to put the ball every time. The idea behind this is to keep consistency so that sometimes a face-off doesn't go down and the ball is closer to one guy's throat than the other, giving him an unnecessary advantage. Once the referee comes over, he'll say set, same exact thing. He'll back out and blow the whistle and we'll go. Now, the difference in the PL rule is if you fall start on a face-off, there will be a, a they'll blow the whistle, give it to the other team's possession, but then immediately following that face-off, the ensuing face-off, you will then have to sit out. So if Jerry goes early on this one, that means the next face-off, he won't be able to take a face-off, he'll have to sit out. If he walks out to the face-off anyway, he'll be called for a delay game. Now by rule, wings on the face-off are allowed to run in and they're allowed to poke, okay? So what that means is when they're, if Jerry's engaged on a face-off with somebody else, all right, the defender's allowed to come in and he's allowed to poke or slap this area. He's not allowed to make contact with the face-off man. This is a stupid rule, I'm gonna to be totally honest. <laughs> Two reasons, one, it's not a necessary rule. With the ball lining up that high on the plastic, the amount of lockups are gonna be very, very minimal. You'll get face-offs that'll lock up for two or three seconds max. Maybe one a game might last more than that. Um, so the wings will never get in there in time. And to be honest, if you, set up your wings and they come sprinting in in order to get a check, they're gonna be left exposed and you're gonna get transition on them. Uh, the second part of it is, it's just a stupid roll because honestly, let's go back here. If the ball is locked in on plastic to plastic, the ball is locked in here, there's no way you're gonna dislodge that. It's locked in between plastic. Okay, so Jerry, go ahead and get half clamp on that. That's not doing anything. Um, so. All it's going to do is that would actually make face-offs longer. So the fact that the ball is lined up higher on the sticks is actually going to save us from that second wing rule. Uh, because if we were locked in there and wing guys came in and started slapping as well, we'd be in there all day. Um, so this actually saves us. That rule, I would, I would guess, will be out of there next year. Um, so right now, the difference is ball's lined up higher. There's a perpendicular line so that you know where to line up to. The ball is down first. Same mechanics as college. The ref says down, set, with his hands over top of the plastic and backs out. Now, why does he come in and say set and back out? People have asked that. The reason being is it gives you a visual cadence. So for instance, if Jerry's down on his face off right now, he's getting adjusted, he knows what to do. The ref says set, he knows he can't move now. The problem with the old rules and the problem, uh, the reason there used to be way more false starts is because Jerry would go down and at any time when the ref says down and set a down, he could say set and blow the whistle. So now Jerry knows that he can get kind of like situated and ready to roll. Once he sees this hand come in here, that's when this thing's over and that helps you kind of steady yourself. So without that mechanic, without the set mechanic of the referee having his hand over the sticks, we would see a ton of false starts. Um, and obviously in the PLL, that's gonna be a huge deal if you can't take the next face off. So 
Um, I'm glad they're going to keep that mechanic. Uh, Jared, do you have anything to add as far as the differences between these rules? Uh, after playing both, it feels like the ball is way too low and you're sticking to college rules. I really like the PLL rules with the ball being higher. really eliminates any of those lockup situations, gets the ball into play a lot faster, which I know the NCAA wants. Um, so it'll be interesting to see after this summer if the NCAA adopts the, uh, the PLL rules. Now, do you feel like the PLL rules change your mechanics at all? Uh, not entirely. I do have to get down the line a little bit more, but that's a, a pretty quick and easy adjustment. Uh, being on being on a knee and being standing, uh, there's advantages to both, but neither one really has a, uh, a higher advantage like we thought that we were going to have in the PLL. So knee down still very viable, so guys aren't going to freak out, but standing athletes have a shot at the ball for sure uh, with the ball being higher. Now, I know one of the comments that I was getting that I saw a lot of guys, especially when we did our What If uh, video, um, because the reason we did the What If video is because these ideas have been thrown around. Every single face-off guy had an input on this. Um, obviously, if you watch the YouTube video that I made um, with Jerry, uh, that was basically a what-if video. What if they changed the rules to the face-off again? There's plenty of stuff that I recommended I would have liked to see that's not in there uh, that the PLL did. Basically, all the PLL did was line us a little bit further from the ball. That's the only difference. And they gave us a hard stencil. And there's two questions, uh, two things that people kept saying. One, people who've never, ever tried these face-offs before uh, assumed it would be a slap fest. Obviously, that's not the case. Uh, Jerry and I, we have basically the same amount of success raking as we did with the old rules. Um, the other thing that people are wondering is what happens with these stenciled lines if, like, you're playing on grass and they get torn up? The referees, the, the crew, is going to have a stencil on the sideline. So at a timeout or immediate timeout or whatever, uh, they can just move a few yards over and respray it. It's not a big deal. Uh, what we did notice is most of these games are going to be on turf, so that's not going to be an issue. And also, because we're not grinding as long and there's not lockups, we're probably not going to see these lines get too torn up. Uh, is there anything else to add, Jim? No, I think you covered it. All right, awesome. So these are the new PL rules. That's how they differ from college uh, and it's the current USA rules. Uh, for those of you guys who are interested in the difference between the USA rules uh, and the, uh, the rules in the international game, uh, you can go down this playlist. I did that last summer about the same time as now. Uh, talking about the difference between international rules and American rules. All right, so thanks a lot, guys. Uh, the next video is going to be next week. It's going to be about the you know the CEO two versus the burn face off. Which one is going to now be the next level after the CEO is retired? So stay tuned for that next Sunday. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe and share with your friends. And look at Jerry's dogs. Maybe you chase. Archers.